Designing complex layouts which adheres to different screen sizes and device orientation is a bit tedious task for an Android engineer, especially if we consider the layout performance. So hi everyone, this is Pranit Grover. Today I will talk about in more detail of the constraint layout. With that, if you don't have a basic knowledge of the constraint layouts, I have already created one video of the constraint layouts where I have explained about the constraint layouts. So I would say, please go and watch that video to have a basic understanding of the constraint layouts. With that, in this video, I will talk about some important stuff of the constraint layouts. So I would say, please don't skip this video. So now no more theory, let's go to the Android studio and design the layouts practically. Now let's discuss about the very important concept in constraint layout that is chains how can we implement that let's create one more layout for that for example chains okay we have one layout now let's firstly discuss about what is chain a chain constraint is used to create bi-directional connection between the widgets that means if i want to create bi-directional connection that is horizontal or vertical constraint that can be possible by the chains there are three kind of styles we can choose from chains one is spread one is spread inside, one is packed. Now I'll tell you practically what is the meaning of chain and how can we implement that and what benefits it provides. If you remember, you might have used weights in linear layout. So that kind of a behavior can also be done with the help of chains. Now let's drag and drop a few views to see how it can be implemented. Let's give the constraints. Now let's see how can we implement the chains. Select these three buttons. Right click on that, go to chains, create horizontal chain. That's it. We have our chain implemented. Now earlier I have told there are three kind of chains. Go to your chain, horizontal. There are three. One is spread, second is spread inside, third is packed. Let's select any of them. For example, this one. Now important thing here is this button will always remain at left of the center button and this right button will always remain at right of this button doesn't matter what. Let's check that. I am picking this one and I'll try to move it towards the right. I cannot do that because there is a chain with the center button. Let me try with this button and move it towards the left. I cannot do that. See. So this is the beauty of the chains. Let me undo the operation. Now again select these three views, right click, change and try to change the style. Let's use packed. Perfect. So this is how we can use the chains. We can also implement the vertical chains, horizontal chains, any kind of styles also. Again I would say please practice chains at your end so that you can implement it very easily. Now let's discuss about our next topic that is guideline. We call it as a virtual helper objects. That means these are not displayed on the device and only used for layout purpose but very helpful. That is why it is known as the helper objects. This will help us to align our views or align other views. This is a very important concept asked during your interviews. Now let's discuss how can we implement that. Let's create one example layout for this to understand that. So let's take this example, this kind of a layout we want to design. That means we want some kind of a pattern that our name and address will be towards the right and are this one towards the left. Now we want some kind of a view where some particular views will remain at right and some views will remain at left. Doesn't matter how long the text is. Now how it can be implemented? This kind of a view can be easily implemented with the help of guidelines. That means guidelines is used to align other views. There are two kinds of guidelines. One is vertical, one is horizontal. So here for this particular design, we will use vertical guideline. Let's see how can we implement that. Let's firstly create one guideline. If you can see we have helpers, helpers, we have our guideline. We need vertical guideline. Let's drag and drop. Perfect. We have 104 dp from the start. That means this guideline will start after this much gap, 104 dp gap. Now let's create our two text views which will remain towards the right of this guideline and two text views which will remain towards the left of this guideline. Let's quickly do that. Now here our constraints will be start to start of guideline. So that means this view will always remain at start of this guideline, not before that. 
let's give the same constraints start to start of guideline top to bottom of the first text view let's give the text as address now let's create two other text views which will remain towards the left of the guideline here let's give the constraint as constant end to start of guideline that means it will always be at before your guideline let's give the same constraint here as well perfect so this is how we can use guideline to align other views either we can use vertical or we can use horizontal guideline so thank you so much guys i hope that you have got good insight on the constraint layout especially the uh, in-depth concept of the constraint layout i would say if you have any questions please feel free to write down in the comment section i'll respond soon uh, with that i would say please share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn about the constraint layouts so keep watching i'll see in the next video bye bye